The scene of our provided project contains an orange capsule, which represents the player, and a blue capsule, which represents an enemy. The player can be moved in any direction. The camera orbits around both objects and provides a zoom functionality. The result of the tutorial should be an auto zoom function for the camera, so that it always keeps track of both moving objects in the scene. What is the typical setup for a third person game? Normally you have a player who can move forwards and sideways. The player acts as a target for the camera, which orbits around him. Now a horde of enemies appears and wants to damage the player. The player himself or an algorithm selects one of the enemies. The midpoint between the player and the enemy acts as the new target for the camera, so that it can track both objects at once. When the two rivals move apart, the camera may have to zoom out to keep track of both objects. The viewport space is normalized and relative to the camera. This means that regardless of the camera's position and rotation, the zero point in viewport space is always on the bottom left corner of your display. The 1-1 one -one coordinate is located on the top right corner. Any point on the screen is interpolated between those two coordinates. Obviously, also the resolution doesn't matter. So here is our display, but the player and the enemy are outside of the viewport. Then their viewport coordinates are outside of the unit interval. Also the viewport distance between them is bigger than 1. Now when the camera zooms out and the viewport distance is something smaller than 1, then it is guaranteed that both objects are at least partly visible on the screen again. The implementation is surprisingly easy. Firstly calculate the target position where the camera should look at. Normally the player's position is also the target position. But when an enemy is selected, just calculate the distance between both and use the midpoint as the new target position. The next step is to calculate the camera's position. Based on the viewport coordinates of the player and the enemy, calculate the viewport distance and check if it's bigger than an arbitrary maximum, which should be something smaller than 1. Now adjust the zoom value until the viewport distance gets smaller than the maximum. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and for more videos click the buttons on this side. Soon we will start our Patreon page, the link will be added on the top. Now have a nice day, it's your sensei.